हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शैल सी आर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट्स सी लैंग्वेज मस्ट बी एबल टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट सेट्स ऑफ एक्शंस डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सरकमस्टेंसेस सी लैंग्वेज पोजेसेस सच डिसीजन मेकिंग कैपेबिलिटीज बाय सपोर्टिंग द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स if statement if else statement nested if statement and switch statement till now we have seen all sequential programs that is all the statements are executed in a sequence there may be some programs which in which we require to execute one group of statements in some condition and another group of statements in some other condition for that we are going to require these control statements these statements are popularly known as decision making statements because depending upon the decision the flow of execution will change since these statements control the flow of execution they are also known as control statements we shall see the first control statement that is the simple if statement the if statement is a powerful decision making statement and is used to control the flow of execution of statements it is basically a two way decision statement and is used in conjunction with an expression so the syntax of the simple if statement is if and in the round brackets we are going to give the condition this condition which we are going to write will be a relational expression we are going to use the relational operators so if the value of this test expression is true then only the next statement will be executed it allows the computer to evaluate the expression first and then depending on whether the value of the expression that is the relation or condition which is expressed in the round brackets is true true means it will be a non zero value or false it means it will be zero it transfers the control to a particular statement the condition following the keyword if is always enclosed within a pair of round brackets so you can see over here we have to express this condition in this given round brackets this point of program has two paths to follow one for the true condition and other for the false condition so here is a pictorial representation of a simple if statement here in this decision box we are going to give the condition which is to be evaluated if this condition is true then we will follow the true part for simple if there is no false part we express a condition using c's relational operators the relational operators allow us to compare two values to see whether they are equal to each other or unequal or whether one is greater than the other we can use different types of relational expressions like x is equal to y x is less than y x is less than or equal to y we'll take an example to implement a simple if statement write a program to check if given number is less than 10 so here we are given in the question that we have to check only if the number is less than 10 so here the program is given in the program i have not written the hash include header file part directly we shall see the program we are going to check one number so i have taken it as n and the data type of n is integer check if the given number that is n is less than or equal to 10 suppose i input the value 5 over here if 5 is less than or equal to 10 yes then only this statement will get executed that is correct number less than 10 will get printed on the screen and the end of the program 
Suppose we'll take another example where we input n is equal to 15. Is 15 less than or equal to 10? No. So this printf statement will be skipped. It will not be executed and directly the control will jump to get ch and end of the program. So in the simple if statement, the condition is true, then only the if part will be executed. There will not be the false part. Next we'll see another variant of the if statement that is the if else statement. The if statement by itself will execute a single statement or a group of statements when the condition following it is true. It does nothing when the condition is false. So in the previous if statement we have seen that nothing we do nothing when the condition is false. So if you want to execute one part when the condition is true and another part when the condition is false, we are going to use the second type of control statement that is the if else statement. We can execute one group of statements if the condition is true and another group of statements if the condition is false. The if else statement is an extension of the simple if statement. Now here we can see the syntax of the if else statement. If we are going to give the condition in round brackets, we have enclosed the true block of statements in two curly brackets. We are going to have the else part, then the false block of statements are included in this, enclosed in this curly brackets and then statement x. When this condition is true, this part of the program will get executed and the control will jump directly to statement x. If this condition is false, this part will be skipped. It will not be executed and directly the control will com come to the second part. This false block of statements will get executed and the control will jump to statement x. So here you can see the pictorial representation. Here we are going to specify the test condition the decision box if it is true true block of statements will be executed and control will come to statement x if this condition is false false block of statements will be executed and the control will come to statement x so either the true block of statements will be executed or the false block of statements will be executed both will not be executed at the same time if the test expression is true then the true block statements immediately following the if statements are executed. Otherwise the false block statements are executed. In either case, either true block or false block will be executed, not both. So here we'll see an example where we have implemented the if else statement. Write a program to check two numbers and print the largest. So here is the program. We are going to input two numbers let the two numbers be a and b with the help of printf and scanf we are going to input the values in a and b if the value of a is greater than b this statement will get executed that is a is largest will get printed else part this is this statement will be skipped and then end of the program now suppose a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10 is 5 greater than 10? No, that is false. So this part will get executed. That is 10 is largest will get printed. Now suppose A is 15 and B is 5. Is 15 greater than 5? Yes, that is true. So here 15 is largest will get printed and directly the control will come over here and end of the program. So we have already discussed these programs in the algorithms and flowcharts. Thank you.